So guys, starting off with the first topic, I assume most of us know that J.J. is dropping an album. What's actually surprising is that he hasn't said anything about the album as yet. What we know for sure is that he's dropping an album in July as confirmed by Aries on Achilles as he came out to say. One is to drop it in July just to fuck you up even more. But I know Jory got you first, I gotta go on this tour. At this point, I believe Jory should have started with the rollout of his album and making sure that he built anticipation for his debut solo album. Just because he moves with Aries doesn't mean he should also use Reese's rollout plan. And it also doesn't mean that he has to move like him. These are two different artists with different friends. They ain't on the same level. This rollout plan of Reese just waking up and dropping music without even announcing works for him and it's not even guaranteed that it will work for his brother. He should just ask those other guys what that thing did to their careers. Jody still has to prove himself as a solo hip hop artist so he shouldn't move like Reese as Reese has already made his mark in the game. At times I get to believe that Revenge Lab Records needs a proper management team. Whoever is handling things they ain't really doing good. Look at the likes of Casper Invest. Look at how big he is but he has already announced that his album is dropping on the 28th of July. And all we know with Jijori's album is that his album is actually dropping in July but on which day we don't even have a clue as of yet. Right now what we're waiting for is just to see what Jijori is gonna do with this whole thing. But do you guys think it's only fair that Jijori moves like his younger brother Aries when it comes to this music thing? Comment your thoughts down below. And on to the next topic, Flame is crying out loud for his handshake. I guess we all know the handshake that Reese and DJ Clan have been doing lately. If you don't know it, here's the video. Well, Flame came out to drop a tweet saying, Niggas is really out here doing our handshake. But guys, come on, is that something someone could really cry out loud for? That handshake was deemed as the Wrecking Crew handshake. So don't be surprised when you see the Wrecking Crew niggas or the Wrecking Crew ex niggas doing it. Flame could have just came with it cool, but he doesn't own it. Who owns a handshake? Come on. These TWC niggas just want to fight with Reese even with small things like a handshake. It's really crazy out here. Even a grade 1 learner cannot come out to cry out loud for a handshake. But anyway guys, you can tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. And that is the end of the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.